know what it is. It's the best this podcast is, you yeah. ain't never heard of. You already know who I am. This is Latours. Matter of fact, AKA, don't call me Latours no more. Call me the Blueprint. Yo, yo, what up, what up, what up? You already know what it is. Another edition of the greatest podcast you ain't never heard of. You already know who I am. It's Latours, AKA, the Blueprint. Hey, we in this motherfucker kind of late, but we on time. It's, it's kind of weird how things happen. But look, we always on time, so we're going to have a fantastic show, man. We got the squad in here, plus one. I don't even really want to call him a plus one because he's squad no matter motherfucking what. <coughs> Shout out to the homie pack. I'm going to say what's up to the people. What's good, everybody? And we got the rest of the crew, man. They adults. I don't really introduce them. It's your boy, Corey GQ Fresh, Mr. Four Eyes, this week. Oh, Norbit. Yeah, well, aside, aside here. I was the first one here today, so no, you I just like you. to let everybody know that's how black muscles grow. That's how black muscles grow. What's <laughs> up, man? What's up? What's up? You got superstar in the building, producer, aka a whole lot of names. You just call me Renaissance Jr. That's what I'm about to change my name to. Hey, that's what it is. Ready, man. Hey, that mo be paint one minute and shit, yeah. swimming the next. <laughs> hey, but look though, uh, like I said, we have a fantastic show. Um, I must bring it back uh, two co-hosts uh, ago and focus on them motherfucking, um, do you want to see his Barbie doll glasses? My hey, I have a, I, hey, do you want some candy little girl glasses? My, daughter, <laughs> my so, daughter picked these glasses out. And that is the disclaimer, but like I said, <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Corey, man. I got the, uh, I like them glasses, man. Thank you, sir. Um, they remind me of my childhood and all the people my mother told me to stay away from. Mm-hmm. But neither has <laughs> this here or there. I like thick frame glasses, man. Yeah. When you be having to get glasses and shit, you be at that motherfucking standing and you be trying to pick something that's in your motherfucking budget, but that look good. You know oh. what I'm saying? And he failed. But um <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. Yeah, my daughter picked you. Know, they're beautiful. They don't, <laughs> they're beautiful. They don't care about no, budget. With, hey, for real. <laughs> but <laughs> but she picked those out, bro. Yeah. I had like five, like six up. She said, Daddy, get those. Well, we I, know for a fact that your daughter has a sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> but no, shout out to my nigga Corey. Uh, it's been a long fucking week for two days. Boy. It's only Tuesday. It's been a long week. Uh, like I said, we late. If you listening live, we apologize for the 40 minute nigga delay. Uh, we tried to be on white folks' time, but it just didn't work out. Um, and I don't like to slander us like that. So I gotta find out something cool to say and shit like white people so early on stupid sales. But enough of that. <laughs> but like I said though, man, I had a hell of a day at work, man. I don't even wanna really, like I got shitty when I was at work today. I was like, um, you know you be shitty, you don't know how to like place your anger. Like you don't know what the fuck to do. I was uh, in a place in Lebanon and filling out some paperwork. Securing a bag. As they say, <laughs> as they say, hey, you know, hashtag. 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 you know how they got the little chain, the little attached to the pen and shit. The little, yeah. I looked at that motherfucker and I picked it up and I was writing. I said, "This stupid ass fucking pen." Like I got mad for no fucking reason, and I said, "I should snatch it off." <laughs> like that was like I was raging against the machine and shit, man. That's how fucked up I was out there, man. But you know what? It's all good because we here. Yeah. Pen with the flowers on it. And that's how they be doing at this place. <laughs> <Fuck yeah. laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, hey, you got a pen? She said, it's right there. I said, no, it's not. She said, it is right there. I said, no, it's, it's not. Old and that bitch did this and shit. And she lifted up and she did one of these. <laughs> like she showed me the secret fucking magic trick and shit. And you know what I did? <laughs> like I was equally shocked and shit. But no, um, it's not a fantastic show, man. Uh, we always kick it off and shit, recapping our weekends. I must admit that my weekend was garbage. Mm. First, first, hold on, I went out to eat uh, Saturday with uh, my, my sisters, a couple of my sisters and shit, my mother and her strange face husband, and uh, her sister and her strange face <laughs> husband. It was a strange face occasion, but I think that was pretty much the highlight of my weekend, man. Uh, my shit was pretty whack. Y'all get anything? Nope. Ain't uh-huh. fair. You went up there. You ride anything? Nah, I don't get no more rides. Yeah, cool and shit. Eat fucking yeah. fried now later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they eat fried now later. What's up, though? You enjoy yourself? Yeah, it was cool, man. Took the kids out there, you know what I mean? They enjoyed themselves, you know what I mean? 
I don't want you to ask him for too much shit, though. You know, everything $20 and up in that motherfucker. Don't you say no? <laughs> I don't. Yeah, I'll tell I you when we get out of no, the car. Man. I hate saying no. Four out of five had children. Javar, after he win the title, he's going to have a whole bunch of illegitimate ones. Oh, uh, shit, I used to get told no when I was little. <laughs> you said what? I said I used to get told no. And I hated that shit. I vowed to never do that shit anymore. always told us in the car. Like, like, you don't ask for shit. Didn't you don't have, touch didn't, shit. And when, didn't you sit there and say, when I have kids, I ain't going to treat my kids yeah, like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was. I, said, I ain't going to have this, hey, man. Every time I buy something for the kids, it's not even for them. It's not for me. I'm stunned on my mama. <laughs> I'm stuck on my mama when I do that shit though. But uh, what'd you get into, uh, Gore? Shit, uh, man. Friday I had a hell change my tire rides. That's fucked up. Gore be having the most eventful story. Yeah. He ain't painting. That's what he ain't painting. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't painting. Yeah. Cut the grass. Saturday Corey, was a long oh. day. Pause real quick. Corey's gonna remind us of shit that we ain't shit but regular ass niggas. Shit, I at the end of the day. No, no, no. It's a good, it's a good, it's a good balance of shit to let me know, goddammit. Get out there and sweep. Go ahead, though. What you doing? Shit. Uh, then Saturday, uh, hell, went to a funeral, baby shower, and a birthday party. All back to back. What was worse? I don't know. What uh, was worse? <laughs> baby coming and somebody baby. leaving. <laughs> Damn. I was like, man. But it was my homeboy, uh, girl, who his fiance. He was like, man, I just need some fellas there. Hold on. Hold on. You went to the baby shower? His uh, girl made a co ed. He like, man, I just want some of the homies to come there. It was a test that he failed. Yeah, we get away with this. Yeah. Shit, so oh, cool. We're going to get this win here. Yeah. So now they're going to hashtag us. Damn. All of us who don't go. Yeah. I didn't know that shit. But what'd you yeah. say, though? But yeah, we went and uh, went to the birthday party. What y'all play games board. and shit? Yeah, we was over there drinking. So we trying to figure out what we going to have to do. <laughs> shit, we was, you know Corey was in. Wait a minute, man. man. We was sitting there drinking and you know firing up while the ladies did they little baby shower shit. Hell, yeah. what the fuck? Where do baby showers come from? I don't know. You be saying like we be doing shit. We don't even know where the shit come from. Yeah, you should just smoke a weed baby shower. Outside, you, you can. That's, that's not good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now, nigga, it's good. Yeah, he said it's good. Yeah, shit. Yeah, I mean, shit. Now, I ain't voting around nobody that's pregnant. Shit. I didn't even think we were supposed to be at the baby shower. I didn't think, but she kind of forced not, him to go. So he's like, like oh, unless you're neutered. He's like, I need my buddies. So I ain't going to suck me into that one, Pauls. Oh, I'm not going because the side there. <laughs> hey man, she said, hey nigga, you need to take control of your life. <laughs> so I told him. What? Yeah, yeah. But who died? So hold on, hold on, uh, hold on, hold on. I got to do better on that one. Yeah, who, who died? Passed away. Uh, I got to sound more somber. Uh, my girl cousin hung himself last week. With what? I don't know. She had some rope. Yes, That's know. a white boy way to go out. I know, and he was black. So I was kind of, I was kind of shocked. I was like, damn, for real. Like you don't know how to respond. How old was twenty five? Was turning twenty six this upcoming Friday. Who was he hanging with? I, I don't know. I like the best nobody. Baby. No, yeah, it sound like nobody. Oh no, baby mama chitney. His baby mama found him with the kid and shit. So it's like, man. oh, oh, but he was watching the chat. No, no, oh. they came home and found him. Swinging and shit like that's crazy. Like you know, and shit, that was that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah. What you do with Sarah? <laughs> well, I didn't do nothing. Uh, what, what happened? We went out though. Yeah, Friday. Went out uh, downtown. First time been downtown about three years. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, hey, hey, that nigga looked real yeah, like yeah. 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 <laughs> Everybody understood. It's some cool <laughs> shit there. You know, I was out there the past 3 a.m. Sitting there on the oh, sidewalk. Cop talking about get on the sidewalk. Y'all need to leave. You know, I have my cousin with me. My coach is fired. So he's, he's doing a little stare off with the cop. So I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying <laughs> to pretend like I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm not a, a part of this shit, fuckery. Man. So yeah. I kind of look away at my homeboy. He's like, bro, get your cousin. I said, what are you doing? He's, he's staring at the cop. You know what he's doing when y'all left the yeah, house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually, the cops participate. The cops give him a white cop, give him that look, he give him that look. My cousin says, fuck 12. And the cop just keeps looking at him. I couldn't say What's wrong again. with him, man? Fuck 12. Hey. You don't watch the news. You see, this is a stare contest. Yeah, he, yeah, so you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I was like, well. <laughs> 
Shit, this is, I, I ain't yeah. about this life. Damn. You, you put on that uh, that with that voice. No, nah, no, nah, I kind of. <laughs> I went ahead and started walking away because I knew the next command. Because you can see the cop trying Hold to on, think. The next what? The next command from the cop. <laughs> God, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. Man. Because he most people ain't gonna try him like that. But the cops think, okay, what's what's the next? What's the next? What's the, and finally it hit him. He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Y'all don't need to be on the side while clubs are closed. Let's go, everybody. Let's go. This is after five minutes. I'm already there. walking. Tis is heavy, son. Yeah, I'm already <laughs> tis. I knew that's what he's gonna say, but I don't have patience for it. Hey, you know what? Well, we all got the rebellious age, right? Yeah, that's the but Minaj is a super rebel. Yeah, yeah. Minaj, you're like, hey man, we gonna leave tonight. We can leave now. <laughs> we ain't gotta wait. The master can't tell me what. Be quiet, keep it down, nigga. That's how I be though. But shout out to Minaj, man. Um, it's a cool weekend. That, Where y'all go to? Uh, what's the one that's got three floors? Tap, tap, Hello. taps and dogs. Taps and dogs. Oh, they got like three yeah. floors or something. Man, you know, I don't know what's on out that night, man. Taps and dogs. Oh, you have to tie up. Yeah, it was cool. And then Saturday, saw some family. Did you they came down from Michigan. Did you boogie? I don't dance. Did you groove? Two step. Uh, no, we don't, we don't do none of that. What, do di- what does diplomats do? <laughs> what, is, yeah. what exactly what do, do diplomats do? do? We in the cut, you know? Well, that's, that's how we say it. We you from Atlanta cut. and you don't dance in the club? Niggas here don't dance no more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you, do this. This. See, you don't know nothing about that chord. <laughs> that's good about it. That before your time. But that's, What'd you that's get into a superstar? Man, I do this weekend. Went to the fights. Went to the fights this weekend. How was that Enjoyed shit? Enjoyed some horrible fights. Mm-hmm. No, they was all right. They was decent, man. They was they decent? Yeah, How was your boy do? They crumb. They crumb. You know, man, I missed this fight because I went to the crib real quick. He <laughs> came right back. That motherfucker was on the second fight. I was surprised like a motherfucker. Mm. I was like, God did you pretend? Man. Did you just pretend to him <laughs> like yeah, you said it? You already know. I saw the whole thing. I'm here to support. Yeah, he fucked yeah. him up. Hell no. He, came, he did his thing, man. He was grateful. Willie J. Uh, Cool, cool. Hold on, we can elaborate. How will he look? Okay, we ain't gotta elaborate. We can just <laughs> tell you. Shout out to Willie. Willie fights be boring your shit, man. That ain't shit like a boring, like a heavyweight, like a featherweight. That's all it is, man. Yeah. You know, uh, Bunch of jabbing. Yeah, yeah. You want to show how flexible he is? He had a couple, he had a couple sparks, shit. though. You know, we try to light a lighter and it don't start. <laughs> <laughs> it was exciting, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who like, almost shit. had that motherfucker? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, Atlanta Fire, where he's a sparkler. Back, though, Damn. Two, I was like, ooh. But it was like, you know. Well, at least he's a little beef right now, anyway, man. You know, if he wasn't so old, he could try to go down, you know what I'm saying? At least he should try to get down on a cruise or something. He should, man. He's too fat. You can see that. You know, yeah. He's yeah. <laughs> you clearly see that shit. <laughs> what, the, what the event look like, though? Uh, It was all right. You could tell they had, they, they started building a kind of a local following. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, no. That. They got booed. They do. They brought from the Zionsville white dude. He brought a pretty cool little crowd. He from Zionsville. I think he is from Zionsville. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm about to ask you. Did you see a white boy get arrested downtown because he uh, he just went got back to the crib. Uh, the dude who fought. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell you man. I'm telling you man. These white people are out of control, man. Man. Oh, I'm scared. White people out of control. I'm scared of white folks. He went out to the encounter and he just went home uh, yesterday. So. Man, look, man. You know what? They usually don't get. It. When they got it. Me and my nigga was talking yesterday, like what we would do if we was white. Like if you if you was white, just say one thing you would do just because you was white. Like because you know you can't. I told him, man, I get the most crispy motherfucking Confederate flag you ever seen. Oh, <laughs> and just walk down the street waving that motherfucker because niggas ain't gonna do shit. We get on Facebook, they gonna take a picture of me. You get on Facebook, and have a hundred comments about it. <laughs> so I'll be doing shit. I'll be antagonizing the fuck out. Soup and just walk down. No, nah, you might get with a rock on that shit. Yeah. <laughs> or a rock at you. I'll, I'll probably, if I was white, I'd be the richest person ever. Oh, you know what? I'll be the richest. I'm going to country clubs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 up. I bet you I'll be doing the song. I bet you crazy, I bet you crazy shit be going on with uh, bastards and bastards. Outside of not getting fucked up by the police, it ain't no benefit to being white to me. <laughs> That's the only benefit, not not getting fucked up. You know what I'm saying? To be a, a cop and fuck some people up. I'm when I get pulled over. You do that as a nigga, though. Yeah, look here, buddy. Fuck what you pulled over for. I'm argue with the police when I get pulled over. For no fucking reason, I'm, I'll be it's running a, south side. So, you yeah. I heard the shit. My employee, my uh, fucking one of my um, 
coworker said, yeah. you tell me about a story. Hold on, first of all, you be work bossing that nigga around because you call him your employee. Yeah, he did. You work here bossing that nigga around. You said, no, what the? He didn't tell me about a story when he got pulled over, man, and the shit they be saying to these fucking cops, bro. Yeah. I'm like, man, you would have burned my ass already. I was like, you said what? That's how I was in the story. Yeah. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> <laughs> we we reversed rules. Oh, yeah. I was like, Quick pause, quick pause. If you listen to this shit and you got the link shared, that's where we gotta start getting the link shared. Uh, share the link if you listen. Um, you need me send it to you so you can send it to your yeah, people. Just it. But yeah, uh, shout out to what the fuck was I gonna say? I ain't, I wasn't gonna say shit. What's your mind, Saul? You over there in deep? Matter of fact, fuck that. Tell us about your fucking terrible hit and run that uh, backfire. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so somebody hit. My goddamn challenge yesterday. Damn. You must let y'all know it was a challenge. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is called. That is called. Challenge. Yeah. Challenge. Yeah. Yeah. You ever seen this shit? The gray one. The, the gray one. one. The red one. The red one. The other day. I'm saying. He said a challenge to hit your No, it was a fucking Honda City. It was a gray Honda City. You got ghosts. Fucking, you can get who's in that motherfucker. A damn Spanish guy. Yeah. Fish jumper. So I'm leaving the gym, right? Listening to some Gunner. Artists, you know. Um, Who's that? I see some one of YSL new artists. Uh, so I'm, I'm listening. Who's that? 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 And he kind of like, it was like a boom kind of like, yeah. you know how he was like, he's playing bumper cars or something was what it was like. Yeah. So I'm like, what the fuck? It really didn't even shock me, but it did. And I'm like, man, this motherfucker. So he put his hazards on. I put my hazards on. I go to pull up behind him. Like, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, fuck that. My initial reaction, bro. Yeah. I hit the gas. Yeah, so yeah. Speed, you had a challenge. That motherfucker so, hit, a, he hit a hard he right over there on college. Yeah. So I'm over in Washington. I went towards about college. Yeah. Bust a right on college under that bridge. He had a hard right, but you know them little things right there. So yeah. you can't bust a two hard. You talking about the. You gotta uh, slow down. Oh, yeah, okay. so you coming off Washington. Yeah. 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 So I hit that motherfucker, er, turn my shit sideways, shot down to college. We going down to college. <laughs> This, this nigga's out for soup, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was out for soup. I'm doing this shit shit out for now. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm like, if a cop come fuck and you just hit my nah, car. Nah, we need you. Follow yeah, me. Yeah, 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 me. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's what I want. That's what if I was, I was white, nigga, yeah. yeah. follow me. They don't know who to so shoot. So I'm yeah. going to hop for soup. Dude yeah. swerving around cars. I'm ruining his ass. Don't swerve around their ass. Some motherfuckers honking. He busts a left over on uh, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. We're, we're across over there by uh, Michigan and something else. Yeah. He stopped at the light. He wasn't too crazy. Motherfucker stopped at that light. <laughs> yeah, like, you gotta go all like, in. Like, yeah. Shit, ain't no laws no more. Yeah. So I get out the whip. I take pictures of the license plate. Then that nigga looking in the rear view. I'm looking at him. He looking at me. I got back in the whip, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck that. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh, the cop. I already got the information on me. I was like, I ain't got the sneezy on me. I can't even do it. That's me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey. What kind of Mexican was he? Man, was he one of the ones? Well, he, it was, he was. Yeah, it was cartel. So he was a Mexican who been here. He looked shit. like he know uh, what the fuck going on. Yeah, yeah. So he was old, the old Mexican. He don't look like the one. He don't look like one. He had a white, he had a white beater on. He don't look like one on Craigslist fixing shit for no, five hours. Yeah. <laughs> he on his fourth name. He had a white beater on. His hair was shaggy. And he had a. I was drunk. A thick ass mustache. Just know that Javar is a professional boxer and got his ass back in that car. Yeah. <laughs> so his name was that Mexican. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, man, interesting story. I love it with the detail. Damn. Uh, aside, man, I, aside, I was in the car, man. That one day he egged me on. I had road rage and shit. White dude <laughs> over there honk. Remember we yeah, ride that same? Yeah. I was gonna kill that crack. <laughs> I was gonna kill him. And Asad was yeah. cheering me on. <laughs> Kill him, all right. Yeah, well, I mean, that's Bet all I could say. Him. You know, it was one of them situations I couldn't talk about. You know, I was like, well, did he try? Yeah. Well, nah, he said, he said, he's going to talk about that. He said, he's going to pull over. I'm like, okay, <laughs> yeah. motherfucker, I'll pull over. He kept going. Because it was one of them days where he, we was talking about something. 
niggas in the story. Wow. You know, I, I be trying to drive and talk and, uh, and, and Instagram. So I'm like, well, he is kind of <laughs> smart. <laughs> you know, the white guys should have shouldn't have been there. With me. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so we, we kind of in the story. The white guy said something like he honked or something. He said nigger or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he didn't. Yeah, that's yeah, what he said. I don't know which one came yeah. first. I yeah. think he honked or something. Yeah. Oh, he I think it was something yeah. like yeah. he rolled the window yeah. down and caught something. You looked yeah. and he said something. Because then he recognized it. You got 10 yeah. at first. He didn't yeah. know at first. He thought super black nigga. Yeah, so yeah. he <laughs> said something. I was like, well, ain't no talking him out of this one. I just sat back. <laughs> like, fuck it, buddy. You ever had some road rage back? <laughs> Man. I be I be kind of laid back in traffic, man. I let everybody do all so that you shit. You know what I mean? I be laid back, bro. You know what I mean? It's it's been a couple times I done, you know what I mean, with the semi trucks and shit. But uh, as far as cars go, shit, I know motherfuckers here can't drive. You know what I mean? So I might be in the, either on the, in the middle lane or the right lane just cruising. You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. be doing too much. Yeah, cause I know my I know my attitude level. Oh, fuck it, hit me. We, I, I'm getting out the car on the bike. <laughs> yeah. I don't fuck I mean, I, I'll literally be praying for patience, man. Cause I'll be yeah. ready to it's fucking be hard, crack man. Over dumb shit. So I'll be having to pray man. for that shit. Yeah. What's happening, though, Corey? What about you? Uh, yeah. Um, hit, got hit by a Mexican. He didn't know no English till he seen the wrong guy that pissed off. He said, I'm sorry. I didn't mean it's a you damn. You put a pistol on him? Hell yeah. He's like, like uh, I don't see you. I should ask Corey. Like, I don't see you. And then I jumped to the sunroof and I was shooting with two of them. Nah, nah, nah. I don't do all that. Hey, he got scared to the motherfucker. Yeah, he, wait a minute, wait a minute. You said he started translating? Yeah, I said, that's a translator. First, he's like, oh, it's a translator. He said, I don't see you. I said, what? He said, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to hit you. I said, damn. I was like, shit. He like, it's not that bad of damage. This is nice. Speak oh, real good English. Corey, strange. Corey, strange. He gave the me. only time I ever pulled out a gun was road rage. I tell you, I was young. I was being. I, I didn't do it at 30 something. I did too now. much rap music. I'm just going to tell you, too much rap music. I'm flying down. <laughs> I'm flying down 70. I had to go yeah, on. But I don't ever pull the gun yeah, out because that's that ain't me. Yeah. But we, somebody cut me off. And these are um, three white kids. Not that it matters, but it matters because they the only ones who do this. So they cut me off, and I'm kind of swerve, uh, 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 and, and as I'm flying by, all I see is all three of them, like two of them, holding <laughs> <laughs> up. They're yeah, not even looking. Nice. Just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, okay. So I start shuffling. Like, where did I put that? Where did I put that? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, they fucking so fingers I off. I grab yeah. it, and by the time they turn, I'm pointing across the driver's seat. <laughs> Hold on. You yeah, like, don't, 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 like, fuck, what's the nigga that changed his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We on seven. The Joker. The Joker went out there. Think, worst case scenario, I'm, we we not crossing paths ever again. But they gonna be shocked when they see because I pulled back up on them. And as they, they look, they all went. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Who was you at? Saturday, going to Richmond. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, yeah. up, I said because they just assume I'm not that type of person. But you assume you're just gonna do that because you're in the car. You know, everybody thinks when they in that car, it's a whole different story. So I said, yeah. okay. What if you see the gun pointing at you? Yeah, them kids hit the deck quick. <laughs> White people, man, they be having that, that entitlement. Like, they yeah. be thinking like they can Especially just get away with anything. Especially if they in a vehicle and they, yeah, yeah, uh, they physically they think they can flee the... Yeah, 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 I don't feel safe. safe around white people. Like, if I'm in a crowd of white people, I'll be out there driving and shit. <laughs> like, because I'll be, like, going to remote locations and shit. Like, if oh, I get yeah. shot... I wouldn't know where to call the ambulance to. I'm <laughs> like, man, it's a bunch of weeds and white people, man. I'll see some fucking S10s. <laughs> hey, and sometimes, like, if I'm out there walking, like, I'm walking back to the truck, I start zigzagging and shit just in case motherfucker got me in the scopes and shit. I expect, I expect the worst out of white people, man. I be thinking crazy, like, man, these motherfuckers gonna catch me. They gonna take me in the barn and rape me. Like, they did Vane Rhymes and shit. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's how I be. You go around white folks, man. I be thinking some crazy shit. Like, they gonna cut my head off and shit. They gonna identify me by my dental records or some shit. I, I be around niggas. The worst I think is, I'm going to go in the store and they're going to steal my cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got to worry about no crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? Nigga might take my motherfucking water out the car or some shit. Right. But, um, great intro. Um, we, we usually have a plethora of topics and shit, shit to talk about, but we got a guest today. So, I'm going to talk about, well, I'm going to uh, mention a hot topic. We're going to touch on these real quick. And I'm, I'm sure you already know what this is. It's goofy. <laughs> 
Hey man, listen. She had a bad weekend. I'm gonna yeah. say this, and this should let y'all know where we're going with this. When a person don't have self confidence, when you are not confident in yourself, you live by other people's opinion. They start to dictate who you are. When you have confidence in yourself, man, it's just the opposite. No matter what people say, you still feel how you feel about yourself. And that makes me uh, lead to the Nicki Minaj thing. This, this bitch losing her mind. Um, you get, we know that she's not a self-confident person because of all the uh, surgery she, she done had. Brought her ass that, that's the first telltale sign, man, that she's not confident with her natural self. And and it's crazy, man, because we over here, we mean. The worst you can get out of goofy nigga, he's going to paint his beard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we get some Beijing. Or fake headline. Or her safari. And, and I must say, <laughs> and I must say, had this not gone public in the outcry that was against Safari, had I had the money, I might have bought a hair bar. <laughs> I can't make no promises. I didn't go ball by that's myself. Lot, I didn't. That's a lot. I didn't know. I'm that's just being honest. I'm just being honest. That's if cool I if I, if I didn't know that everybody was like, ha ha ha, nigga, where your, you know what I'm saying? I, I thought I came up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I thought this was the come up. But no, men insecurity is not like women insecurity. So I really don't understand like what what a woman goes through to grow titties or you know what I'm saying lift her ass up. But it is a lack of self confidence. So when you do things like that and then you dominate now she did. Let's be fair. Nikki had an incredible run. She did. I think far as women in hip hop, there's never been a run like this. There's people who could have had runs. Lauren Hill could have dominated her whole life. She chose not to. Um, it's it's a cycle. The same thing happened with Lil Kim. Happened to her. But her run was way longer, and she left a bigger mark on hip hop than Lil Kim did. Um, but we all know that nothing lasts forever, except Drake. But <laughs> outside of Drake and that incredible shit Damn. he's doing, it's only a matter of time. And when you get to the top, or on your way to the top, you gotta realize that you gotta treat people the same. You gotta be respectful to everybody. You can't, it's like she was like, I've been ugly my whole life. As soon as I get pretty, I'm telling everybody else they ugly. Mm -hmm. That's how it was with her. So now she done shit on so many people on the way up. And she started believing the motherfucking bullshit that she's queen. She's this, that, and the other. And it's all crumbling. There's a new queen in town. And she looks funny. <laughs> but I like her. And At first, I had no opinion. Cause this, this all ties in. I had no opinion of Cardi B. None. I said, she look funny, she got a weird nose, and she a rat. But you know what? Cardi B has grown on me. Not her music, but her success. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of Cardi B like I knew her personally. Uh, when she came out, everybody was like, she's nothing. She got them fake titties, that fake ass, she's nothing. But she said they fake, you know what I'm saying? She, everything Cardi B, she's always owned everything. She's owned everything. Anytime somebody say something about her, she ain't run from it, she ain't shy away from it, she just did what she did. And she just, you know what I'm saying, roll with the punches. She seemed real down to earth. The total opposite of Nicki Minaj. It's two different, and people don't like putting that competition, but there's always Lisa versus Kelly versus Jesse. <laughs> it's always we comparing the girls every time. So when it's, it, when the pool this small to uh, grab from, you automatically gonna say, it's two. It's all, there's no such thing as two queens. There, even if, when we talk about the best man, we have our favorites, but it's always only one person who's the man at that time. Mm -hmm. And so, historically, there's never been where it's two women dominate. Never. <clears throat> there's never been two women dominate. Maybe two successful, uh, Kim, Foxy, but never someone who's just dominated. So, with Cardi coming up, it was only logical, based on history, that Nicki was going to go down. When you bring up Cardi and Nicki, she's a player like she's nothing. She's nothing. I done had my reign this time. She always played to the side shit. She tried to shit on Remy Ma when Remy Ma got out of jail. When Remy Ma was locked up, she shot her out and shit. But when anytime she seen some sort of competition, she got upset. And it's her insecurities. And they started to show more prevalent now. And she's out of control. She's out of control. And I'm thinking about bringing her here for an intervention. Like, get her here to her. Hey, Nikki, we got some album sales for you. Get her here. Like, we got some she like, says she's still number one in all the countries. And she's nigga, look. She's not. Well, I'm gonna tell she you playing like the baby. In other countries. We're going to see how this works, okay? I'm going to show you how that works. I got a million dollars. 
my bank account might not say it, but I got a million dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The records on the billboard might not say it, but I got a million dollars. That's that's like saying. I don't think the other countries mean as much. Who as cares America. about Belgium? Yeah. Who and cares so, about Belgium? Have you ever said what's the who's the baddest bitch in Belgium? Yes. They don't count. It only counts on the billboard. And uh, we talking about historically, this is how they counted. This, this her nigga. This how she. This how her reaction. You know what I'm saying? I'm still, I'm still bad. She took a moral victory, kind of sort of, but. No, she did. I mean, that's that's called taking a moral victory. She, that wasn't the real race, so she yeah. said, "I won the last. You know, I won this yeah. quarter." Hold on, I ain't, uh, you and, know, because uh, I know yeah. the, I'll be whooping this nigga's ass and mad at her. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta find a victory somehow. And man. that's exactly Even what you're doing. Even if it's the last 30 yeah. seconds, I want my team to play like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. And he don't like yeah. it. I hate, I'll be beating that nigga 53 to 10. In the last quarter, he say he I outscore him every fourth quarter. That's the stat, <laughs> so I'm gonna close it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got the water boy you playing quarterback. <laughs> but, but on some other shit though, just uh, and I'm gonna let y'all chime in, but I'm just saying like, so now when they say she's not number one, she don't know how to react. Cause she's always been predicated on what somebody else told her. You know what I'm saying? She is always her her validation being always based on what somebody else told her she was. So they saying you the best, you the best, and that's and that's what she goes off of. It's never something that she feels inside. So now they're saying someone else the best, and she's saying, cause the baby, cause he's selling t-shirts. Like Man. she just can't bow gracefully. It's like this bitch, you got to like what the fuck are you on? It's all, you know what I'm saying? Cause it seems druggy. Yeah. But that, that's just my take, man, of the all of the great Nicki Minaj. What do you got any thoughts on that, Jamal? Pack, pack, pack. I mean, uh, I think she got a uh, a legendary career, man. But uh, she falling from the top, you know what I mean? And she don't know how to take it. You know what I mean? She's, yeah. she's so used to being on the top, being sitting up there with Lil Wayne and Drake and everybody, you know what I mean? All their songs being number one and all this. Drake's still up there, Lil Wayne ain't up there no more, and she ain't up there no more, so you know what I mean? She don't know how to take that, and Cardi B, she taking over right now, you know what I mean? And it ain't even that, I was the same way when I first heard her, like, here go another, you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, man, her music good, her attitude A1, you know what I mean? And it ain't really nothing negative I can say about her, man, you know what I mean? So. And she's in a successful <laughs> relationship. You watched that boys last night. <coughs> I ain't even Hold check on, it out. I'm gonna let you chime in with them nah, clients. Nah. I want to ask you about. Them. And that's another thing. What you point out, Lil Wayne, he fall off, but he don't give a fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah, know he, he know care. he had his run. Yeah, he he know, know he had his run. Care. And then another thing that hurts Cardi, in my opinion, is that hurts Cardi. No, hurts Nicki. Her Nicki. We say. I'm gonna jump in, Wayne. There's a reason why I think Wayne fell off gracefully, though. Because he's on dope. Nah, he he, got, <laughs> he takes he takes some credit for pushing Drake. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, if yeah, you yeah, look like oh, like, like I, I feel yeah. like Jordan, he's like well, he ain't Jordan. Cash money but if the Jordan money translation money. to Kobe, yeah. yeah, I can see myself in this dude, or I help promote him, or I help push him, and now he's number one. So I'm gonna live through anything. Or he's better than his analogy. name relevant too. Another yeah. analogy like a father who was yeah, good in sport, his son be great to yeah. him. And and that, and that's commendable on his part. But something else that I think now this is just my speculation. They won't return my phone call. But I think Nikki's upset that how how successful Cardi Cardi's at a babe. She got married to another uh, prevalent rapper who's also winning at a high level. And you out here, you argue with every nigga you done had. Oh. <laughs> you, you, you went Publicly. with every nigga you done had and shit. Publicly. And, and I'm going to tell you, man. She like better than single. She, nah, I'm going to be honest. Strong black like missing Drake. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. It's some girls who I can sit around here and say that I would not fuck, but an accident could happen. And when I say that, I'm thinking about somebody like Amber Rose. Like, an accident could happen if I'm in the vicinity. But Nicki Minaj, there's no way in hell I touch her. Man, there's like nothing appealing about she her. She's a woman, though, at the end of the day, if females tend to care about their relationship, shit like that ring, or getting the ring, getting married, so yeah. get somebody else, yeah. that's just like your homegirl, your girl homegirls, when you fuck up shit, they love that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? They mess shit up. So hell yeah. I think that's another thing, just her being a woman, combined with that shit you was talking about when you were saying she don't, when she, all her, Goals and accomplishments. She, 
she fed off of other people praising her for them than her praising herself. Like, mm-hmm. damn, like, I feel good about this. Put herself on that pedestal. And then she out here, she got the little whole ass nigga to weep. Bitch, you 36 years old, you still yeah. talking like this? Yeah. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's how you talk when you mad, bitch. Yeah. Go sell another number two album, loser. Yeah, she, but, only, uh, she only had one number one album. Every other album no, been like, she had more than one. She no, had, she had number one records. No, but no, 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 she had more than one number one album. I thought yeah, it was no, the, pink uh, the Pink Print. It was something else, because they, because... Pink Print Reloaded. So no, it, no, she had, like, two different ones that was number one. Cause this, I know definitely this one. Right? She the had no competition either, though. Yeah, but, but her last true. three albums been like two and three debuted at number two, number three. Oh, like yeah. She ain't had a number one album since the those the last yeah, two. Have they ones. have they collab? Nicki and Cardi? Hell, Hell no. Nah. They was the taking shots. They, they were taking shots together. Like, the, it was like, like, Drake. Last Drake, yeah. Drake never went up the top without Wayne's song. Not saying he needed it, but there's like. Did you pay your respect? Yeah, I mean, she may look at it like that. Yeah, I mean, you didn't even have to ask for no feature. But she was Ooh. like I said, she ain't had no competition. She had no competition. So it's like she could not be really uh, worthy of you know what I mean being on grand. the same song with. Her. Besides, so maybe people like that. Cardi should have asked her for one. But see, she came up distant, little Kim. Yeah, she can. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying. So I mean, it's all it's all going. It's what you come for. Go around, supposed come to have around. one though. And I mean, Nick, Lil' Kim and Foxy never collab. You will not get a collab by two women. I've never seen it in hip hop. Well, they two women at the peak. It's on together now. But Ooh. I guess uh, Nicki and Foxy. And like, man, and this shit's who the fuck is Foxy? Yeah. What grave did y'all dig her out of? <laughs> hey. I like that shit. Though. Hey, do you know how do you know how fucking bitter you gotta be to go get Foxy Brown? Oh, like, it, like that's like, hey, you look. You see her body and everything. What you say? She's exactly. Karma's exact. Karma's a motherfucker. Oh yeah, you right. Karma. And that's sad. That's sad. The little kid, man. I like that song Remy and Kim got though. They got a song. Yeah, yeah. I do like that. that I shit, ain't know that shit. That's just cool. But so what? So what you thought? What, what was your thing about the war score? Hey. The way they was taking shots at each other, so Cardi started the war show out like she holding a baby and pulled out a move, man. She was like, Yeah, I'm the Empress, bitch. That's what she said. Oh, Who like, taught Cardi that big word? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, but like, yeah, she know the Empress is. <laughs> and I was like, And so my girl, the catch, she's like, What? I said, Empress. I said, Nikki call herself the Queen. She's like, I'm the Empress, bitch. So Nikki won an award. And she's like, I want to thank everybody that's on my album. You know, if you want on my album, blah, blah, blah. So then Cardi won an award. And then she said, yeah, you know, I, I, I just had a baby, so I couldn't do this. I couldn't be number one. I'm beating everybody. That bitch said, I've been fucking before the six weeks was up. <laughs> and then she said, I got something that money can't buy you that, bitch. Because Bronx bitches Wait, are popping. She said, said this on a war <laughs> On a war show. And, I'm going to start watching this shit. And, and <laughs> she, watching she this shit. Said, I, 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 I said, damn. She said, like the hip hop awards. Yeah, but I thought I had to look. I said, is this the MTV awards or is this the... <laughs> the, uh, me, but she's like, yeah, money can't buy you that, bitch. Cause Bronx bitches is popping now. I said, damn, they really taking shots at each other. Hey man, is this about to be the uh, Pac and Biggie, uh, the women version? Mm-hmm. Them bitches gonna be beating each other with weed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> smacking each other with lace fronts. Yeah. Motherfucking but, hey, that shit was funny. It was, it was on so long, she could be saying, Y'all bums, lace fronts, yeah, y'all my sons. Yeah, my son. <laughs> it was only so long that yeah. same bar was gonna go over, but look. Well, Arthur uh, Martin, Nikki Killer, all right? Who? Nikki Killer. Oh, he's what? Right now. Fight. Uh, she got uh, a whole right for him. So, on, the, on the mic. Oh, she, no, Nikki is killer. Nikki is killer. I mean, just Monster me. Nikki. So she don't even Any know. version. Any version. Think so. she she playing can, Cardi can just make a good song. Yeah, Cardi can make a good cool. song. But when you just spit and shit, Nikki But what she get a dope ass right? She can rap. I ain't going to say she got bars. She make mm-hmm. dumb shit sound good. Well, yeah, you right. Y'all ain't gonna say shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She can yeah. rap like a mom. Some of her punchlines is cold, though. No, no, she no. But every time she got used to like, saying, hey, fuck with my bitches and my son. <laughs> yeah. Our rap for her. Oh, that's like her voice, interview. Voice, one last thing. She had an interview. You fuck with rap, You fuck with her. Yeah, yeah. She had an interview this weekend. She was like, you know, who is writing like me? What bitches is writing like me? So the interview said, well, what about Rhapsody? Well, look at the stats that I've done. I've been doing this, <laughs> this, and this. I said, I love to be a fine nigga Minaj Wall. There's some niggas that ain't fully dressed nigga Minaj Wall. <laughs> fully dressed. I'm trying to see all that goofy shit and send all her. I bet that bitch looks so disgusting. I bet you. Yeah, I bet she looks good. 
Drake. And she, 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 Drake, Drake, Drake done created the distance between her. Yeah. If you notice it, man, they young money. She ain't nobody, no young money nigga talking about get her. They just sued Cash Money again. They filed a lawsuit today. I said, damn, Birdman still getting sued and shit. But look, though, man, enough of the losers. We're going to talk about the winner here. <laughs> Trump. The winner's coming. <laughs> we say Trump. <laughs> Trump. Agent Orange. Agent Orange. <laughs> no, what's happening, Pat? What's good? What's good? Uh, this is Pat's second time coming to the show. Um, he didn't go Hollywood on it. He's still down to work. Down to earth, Cardi staff. And by the way, this is Cardi 18. Yeah. Anybody don't know, this is Cardi 18 firm. But what's been going on with you, though, man? Man, just... uh. Trying to stay above water, really, man. Shit, staying in the gym and shit lately. Uh, about the past month, working out, trying to stay away from the pop and shit like that. Shit, that's unhealthy, you know what I mean? Still slip and slide every now and then, but for the most part, you know what I mean? Just trying to stay focused on that. Health-wise, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Shit, uh... Health. Yeah, most definitely. What do you be working out at? Shit, uh... I got it. Got a little gym I go to, you know what I mean? I work out at the crib most of the time, though. Just doing shit like sit up, you know what I mean? That's what bicycle you know. kicks, all that shit, that military shit. It's a bicycle kick. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get them hips right. Yeah. Six pack right, man. No, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. That's what's up, though, man. People don't understand, man. You get older and shit. You start <coughs> caring about your health and shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because shit don't heal up as fast yeah. as it did, man. Yeah, I feel like, you know what I mean? You're going to get to an age where you ain't going to be able to do all that shit, so. And ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be able to lose it as fast, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to get out the way where I got a chance, you know what I mean? What motivates you to start, you know what I'm saying, take care of yourself health wise? Man, I've been one to do it. Like, I started before and I stopped. You know how niggas is. <laughs> like, I started like like last year and I stopped, but you know what I mean? I just, I don't know, man. Just something just clicked. Like, I would, you know what I mean, get my body back together so I get on stage, take my shirt off and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. I need the bitches to cheer. I think it's a good feeling, man, to be in shape, and, you know what I mean, be healthy, man. Because right now, like, I smoke and all that shit, so it's like, that shit's starting weighing on you after a while. Yeah. You know what I mean? Make you feel tired and shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Like, that shit start weighing on you after a while, you know what I mean? Make you feel tired and all that shit. You know what I mean? You don't want to get up and do shit, so I'm like, you said no swear you said. Yeah, I do now. I'm trying to knock hey, out. Hey, so take take us through one. Go ahead, go ahead. Take us through one of your uh, one of your workout routines. Man, uh, right now I'm just concentrating on. Uh, <laughs> right now I'm just concentrating on the uh, on the gut. Right now, bro, that's yeah. that's my biggest. You know what I mean? My biggest battle to me. You know what okay. I mean? Because I'm gonna lose that before I lose anything. Yeah. So you doing cardio? Know. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do the cardio because it don't, it don't mix in if you don't, you know what I mean? You don't do no cardio yeah, with it, you ain't gonna be able to burn it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but besides that, like, I mean, I can't do it every day, so once I knock that out, I'll start doing push ups and stuff like that, hit the uh, hit the free weights and all that, you know what I mean? That's what's up, man. Just for anyone who just tuned in, he is a fucking rapper <laughs> and a fitness enthusiast. <laughs> and he's added a motherfucking feather to his head. But that's dope, though, man. As a matter of fact, everybody in here is real health conscious. Everybody in here work out some man. way. Of course, if our beats people up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, that's what you call brain freeze. You worked on, uh, last time you were here, man, you were working on Backseat Driver 2. Yeah. And now you got your EP, 5 Ps. Yeah. Uh, what, what does 5 P stand for? Proper preparation prevent poor performance. Yep. Yeah. Repeat it. Proper preparation. Nah, 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 First off, it was like, uh, I feel like them is some major pillars when it comes to the music, man. You know what I mean? Like, we all do music, but it's like, we, we hop in the studio, we take, we do songs, and like, a lot of people don't know what to do after that. You know what yeah. I mean? So, uh, I took it upon myself to just try to kind of focus on what I wanted to do. Like, it, it, any project that I do, I plan it out, you know what I mean? And I, uh, I sit there and, and come up with a concept. And then I laid most of the beats down. I did all the beats on this one except for one. My homo, uh, homeboy Joy Fresh did one of them. I did the rest of them. 
So I lay all the beats down, and then after that, I just start writing, man, start zoning out. You know what I mean? But uh, just had to come with that killer concept, man, to when I listen to it, it's going to inspire me to do more with the music instead of just sitting on it. You know what I mean? Right. But uh, what I've been focusing on more now is like the like the digital marketing and all that stuff because uh, I can go out here and hand to hand all day and, and try to sell CDs, but you know what I mean? I get I get just on a side note, white people buy more CDs than black people do, you know. <laughs> but uh, if I mean that's a cool selling hustle. CDs now, man. Motherfucker, make sure you get like, the fuck away from that. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Like I had to uh, I had to be chill with a couple people because they don't like. They like get the fuck out of my face, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want your music, you know what I mean? So you gotta be chill and be patient about it. But like a couple of white folks out there just handing me twenty dollars, I don't even want the CD. I just like what you're doing, you know what I mean? So <laughs> like real shit, man. And it's just like make you, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, and it was like yeah. made you really keep like yeah, man, cool. yeah. It'll make you, it'll make you stay on. So I need to go back to what you were saying about your albums, how you come like the concept of your albums, how you, how you come up with a concept and you. Like, that's how you come up with the album. Yeah, I, I, I try to always think about that shit before I even start writing anything, man. You know what I mean? I don't like, like, I can just make music and hop on a mixtape or hop on somebody's song, whatever, but I don't do too many features with a whole lot of artists either, unless it's in-house, you know what I mean? Like my, okay. like my big bro and all them, you know what I mean? But I gotta have, it gotta mean something to me before anybody else here, you know what I mean? So have you ever came up with more than one album at one time because you come up had, you yeah. different moods you know what i mean my last so, my last project backseat driver two i probably had like man close to 25 songs for it and yeah, i yeah. i ended up with like 16 17 you know for what sure, i mean sure. had hella verses rolling in my phone on paper and everything you know what i mean but it's like i'll be brainstorming you know what i mean my shit don't stop my brain don't stop working yeah. you know what i mean so that's just what it be, but uh, I just be trying to pinpoint certain songs and certain concepts to make it all come together in the end, you know what I mean? And the last project I did, I feel like it came together good, and this recent project, Five Ps, I feel like it came together okay. good, you know what I mean? So so when you met your digital marketing, like, what's the biggest thing that you done learned? Like, uh, and Coffee checking out your page, man, I'll be seeing you networking. You went down, you was over at uh, Fountain Square for that, uh, I don't know what festival. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, got it this going weekend. This weekend. Yeah. How was that uh, last yeah. time you went? Like the it was dope, the man. Uh, it was dope because I didn't know it was no music scene in the city like that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's totally different than like some hood shit. Like yeah. we, I'm used to doing nigga shit. You know what I mean? Going to clubs and do a song, and the motherfucker got a chord on it, and you know what I mean? You might, <laughs> you know what I mean? Bump heads with some motherfuckers before you leave out of there for the yeah. night up, you know what I mean? Just just a whole lot of different uh experiences, man. But uh that Trees Festival is like a whole different type of uh, atmosphere, man. And you so, get uh, all the different genres. You perform yeah, Saturday? Mo- nah, not nah, Saturday, but I got Friday I'm going out to do this freestyle to be able to perform Saturday, so you know what I mean? Okay. Where is this at last year? Where is Trees at? No, nah, where you doing the freestyle? Friday, uh they stopping. I think they stopping at one of the liquor stores, man. They got two stops. They stopping at one of the liquor stores, and then they they going to some other place. I think it's uh going off of Massachusetts. You gonna have to give me the uh, heads up. Well, you know you got a time frame. Um, the first stop, I think the first stop is like three to six. I'm gonna hit that second stop from eight to ten, though. So I'm gonna go out there and. Do, do they the just assume like, rappers don't have jobs at 36? I guess Dang. not, man. I guess not. They said it's Saturday. You know I mean? They said yeah. probably off on the weekends. Yeah, this Friday, though. Oh, Friday? Friday oh, yeah. shit. They got like a little session from 8 to 10 where they pulling up giving people a chance. I want to Saturday. take you out Saturday, Friday, so remind me on that. Okay. Um, now, what's New Wave? New Wave was the... Uh, it's the movement that... It's, it's, it's what's been in my head. You know what yeah. I mean? Like... When I when I thought about my music, pushing my music, the business for my music, that's what I came up with. You know what I mean? And I had it jumping since uh, December of last year. Like I had the LLC since December of last year. But I just wanted to put everything. I wanted to be able to put everything into my box so I could figure out what to do next with it. What 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 move to make next with it? You know what I mean? And uh, I think like I've learned a lot so far just doing that, man. Just like all the way around with the tax ID and all that shit, like it's beneficial, but like if you don't take advantage of it, it won't be beneficial, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, I'm still studying up on it, you know what I mean? Still reading up on the different uh, niches in, in the game or whatever, but I think that's where it's at. 
So far, what's the biggest benefit that you've seen? With the with me starting a label, or yeah. I think the benefit has been to me. I don't think it's I, I don't really think it's benefited nobody else. It's benefited me, and the way I uh, the way I feel like I want to push my product. You know, what I mean, it yeah. inspires me. Just because I I can sit here and look at it like damn, I own this shit. You know, what I mean, it's mine. So it benefits me and uh, inspires me to keep pushing and like uh, eventually I want to I want to tie it in with other artists or with other uh, people that's in the music industry doing business or whatever and then, and most definitely with my bro with the uh, with the Rich Harvest label you know what I mean I definitely want to tie it in with them first and foremost just so we can you know what I mean solidify everything man how hard was it for you to separate like not just like the physical separation but the mentality because I mean ever since. Ever since, ever since it's been y'all <laughs> rapping together, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm talking about back uh, and uh, damn, Edge was, been, you know what I'm saying? It's been a minute. Yeah. So how hard was that to like branch out? I mean, it's only so long you can still be the little brother. You know, <laughs> and I mean, you know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you got two alpha male type personalities and things, like how hard was it for you to be like, I'm about to step out and do my own thing? I mean, it was hard. It was hard as fuck. It, the thing that made it I ain't gonna. Say, I don't want to use the word comfortable, cause it ain't real. It ain't really comfortable. But the thing that I feel like made it possible for me to do is I had a plan on what I wanted to do, and I ain't never going that far from where I came from. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't leaving here to go somewhere else to somebody else later. Yeah. I ain't leaving here. I ain't leaving this studio to go record at these other niggas studio down the street. I, you know what I mean? They ain't, they ain't what my uh, what my plan was. You know what I mean? Uh, I wanted to do everything first of all professionally not taking nothing from from where I you know what I mean where I previously recorded at but I wanted to do I wanted to do everything professionally like people that that kind of got a history on their name like I went to I, I recorded the last project at Asmith and I know that Asmith got history on you know what I mean they pretty much cookie cutter when you go in there they already got somebody to record you that know your sound already and they know everything that they doing you know what I mean like Sometimes it's a struggle doing that when you when you got it in house, you know what I mean. Yeah. And uh, don't get me wrong, everybody back at, at back at the uh, at Rich Harvest, they they dope with what they doing, you know what I mean. So, but I got a patience level about about myself, you know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like it, it be kind of hard for me to work with people at times when you go to to an establishment like that. It's like, look, you got two hours to do this shit. If you yeah. ain't do it right, you gonna have to pay for another hour. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of like, it's more, uh, it's more standard, I guess, man. And uh, it's just an experience that I, some, some I wanted to go do just to see if it would work out. You know what I mean? It ain't like, I don't, I wouldn't say that I left Rich Harvest. You know what I mean? That ain't, that ain't the case. Yeah, you know what I mean? That ain't the case because that's home. You know what I mean? That's the foundation. You know what I mean? And shit. If anything, my bro taught me everything I know about how to even go about doing this shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I just try to take everything that I know and, and capitalize on it. That's what it is. And so you saying like the plan? And like a lot of people don't know when you step out with ambition or a goal, how important it is to plan, plot, strategize. Yeah, like most great definitely. Tupac said, most uh, you gotta have all your ducks lined up, and not just those lined up, but an extra <coughs> duck just in case this one don't pop off. All right. And so you saying that's what help your transition go yeah. a little bit smoother? Yeah, most definitely. And you know what I mean? Shout out to Tupac, R.P. to Tupac, but that was one of the things that kind of stood out to me, right. that plan, plot, strategy. <coughs> so I kind of, I didn't take that and run with it, but I, but it, but it, it's a plus to what I was trying to put together. You know what I mean? So it, it added to the project, but um, that's, that's what I try to do with everything, man. If you plan everything out, and you know what uh, what steps you want to take to get there. When you fail, you kind of know how to go around that step. You know what I'm saying? Right. You kind of know how to. <laughs> y'all niggas crazy. Oh, <laughs> kids, man. No, y'all some cool. bad boys. <laughs> some some goddamn crap. kids, man. Nah, but when you when you my fault, bro. When you, when you fail at it, you kind of know how to. Okay, let me do this a little bit differently this time and see what the right. what the outcome is. You know what I mean? And uh, that's all I want to do, man. It, it's like uh, I'm I'm just being a lab rat to myself, really, man. And uh, whatever I do learn, like I'm, I'm right back. Hey, this how you do this. Hey, bro, this how you do this. Hey, hey, you know what I mean? Like yeah. that's how I am with I it, man. I don't try to. Tell your mind be going. Yeah. That's how I know you really an artist. Yeah. Your mind be going crazy. Yeah, that's most definitely. Be. 
you probably come up with a song every five minutes. Yeah, I do. I mean, I mean, like a different type of melody. No music, some bro, all that shit. I music, bet you can. Like, you probably, like, <laughs> you got access to all that shit or every day. Like, you probably still <laughs> yeah. got hundreds and hundreds, hundreds of songs. Bro. And he features on the album. I see we work with a lot of the artists, but Rich Harvey. Is just, uh, anybody for them on the album, or is this just uh, uh, not on this one? I got I got two artists on this album, man. Uh, one of them is my hard boy Tato. It's a younger cat that I just uh I ain't even known him a year yet, so you know what I mean? And the mm-hmm. other the other artist on there is a singer named Maddie. Okay. And I ain't even known her a year yet, so you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Are these your artists? Artists. Yeah. I ain't gonna say they're my artists, yeah. but uh it was just work just smart as I want to work with, you know what I mean? And then my homeboy, uh we ain't gonna get into that right now, but you know what I mean? That's how I set it up and the people that I, that I work with on the album is people that I want to eventually work with in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, well, what I, what made me think about it, I, I feel like a fucking loser because like I told you when you got here, I meant to ask you to bring your favorite song. Uh, I, I worked out and I listened to this shit, man. This shit hard as fuck, man. Uh, before we go off the air, you gotta show, tell everybody where they can go top of that. Okay. And like I always say, man, I don't say shit hard just to say it. Like, it's super hard and shit, the motherfucking uh, production and engineering. Like, I listen to that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I can just hear, like, you always can rap, man, but I can hear, like, a different level of comfort. And, like, a, a different level of confidence. Right. And when I say confidence, I mean, it sound like you knew that you was in control of this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it was your shit. Yeah, that's shit. what it was, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? It is some confidence in there and some control in there, you know what I mean? And uh, it's a good feeling. Bro. But um, it just, uh, and I'm not even going to lie, I didn't even really want to focus on the music a whole lot. The thing I wanted to do was is put this project together and focus on how to push it. Yeah, because I feel like I don't really, I don't know how to push my project myself. Yeah, I ain't I ain't got nobody that I can pay to push my project that I know of. You know what I mean? And uh, I don't think none of my homeboys know nobody that can push their projects to get to a <coughs> successful point here here in Indiana. You know what I mean? I don't think nobody outside my homeboys know nobody <laughs> that can push their project like because when I look at the you know what I mean the state we in right now, man. It ain't too many people that I can say made it out of here successful unless you're talking about the baby faces and people like that. But with the rap music, it's like, I don't, you know what I mean? I don't see nobody unless y'all know somebody. Ain't nobody made it out here recently. I got another That's, one. that's you know what I mean? Speaking of getting out, kind yeah. of doubling back to the cheers. Did you try to, um, now you're having a contest for like local artists to get uh, open up for Gucci and then they try to get on that showcase or? Uh, did I feel um, beneath you? <laughs> nah, yeah, I don't feel beneath like you. At this point in the game, no, yeah. no, let me tell you why I had that. Because listening to the backseat driver and the way you I speak, I was going to ask that question. It was just kind of like, um, you know, some of the artists that's on there, like, man, could there be some other artists that tried out it? Like, we just going to go with this right. type of artist. Like, did you, you know what I said? Did you, like, throw your name and, like, let me spit these few boards and see if uh, yeah. or do you feel it's more some, popularity? Some things, like, no, I feel what you're saying. Some things that I, I, I would jump into. Mm-hmm. Head first, but stuff like that when it comes to contests or showcases, <laughs> yeah. like I done done it. I, yeah, I like, you know what I mean. Yeah, I done yeah, done yeah. it plenty of times. I done done free shows pl- plenty of times. Most of the shows I done done when ain't nobody got paid. So you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Right now it's just like okay, let me let me go this route. You know what I mean. Yeah, I done paid money to open up for certain artists. Like I might even pay money to open up for Gucci if I felt like it was worth it. I felt like, I feel like I was gonna build any type of fan base off of it. You know Mama I mean? guess he used my yeah, going after me. Yeah, but me, like, me going in there to a contest and me spitting my hardest song and then Arson they might let somebody. Song. This yeah. goofy went over me. It ain't it, 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 it fuck with my burr. pride a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> it fuck with my pride a little bit because you got a lot of people that might pick this dude. I don't, yeah. and I don't mean to call him call him goofy or whoever it is. You know, I'm, I'm just saying you might have somebody that's gonna pick this dude just because they know him. Yeah. Or he from the city, or he from their neighborhood, or whatever else. You know what I mean? And that's how the game be a lot of times. I mean, sometimes talent wins over you know what I mean relationships, but. Yeah. Rare. Man, for the most, Rare. yeah, for the yeah. most part, it's who you know, man. Cause I listened to some of the songs that was submitted. I was like, okay, it's like, then again, for the person that's doing this, actually a headliner, so yeah. I was like maybe they may not want somebody to get out there and spit yeah. bars. They want somebody who's gonna make, <coughs> you know, this type of music. I didn't know if he had submitted a song. That's cause you say as far as marketing and exposure, <laughs> like, 
I mean, submitting a song, that's a little bit different. Yeah, I didn't mean, the way I asked there, it the wrong way. Like, did you, yeah. I meant to ask, did you submit a song to be? I mean, I okay. think I would, I would submit, like, for something like that, I would submit a song, you know what I mean, just to see what my chances is. They might call back, they might not. <coughs> but, like, I can't go out there on no showcase. Yeah, I don't, yeah, it wasn't like that. It was like whoever submitted their song, they pick like, six, seven artists to open up. Yeah. They're like that. Uh, well, um. Uh, when you said when you was talking about like you ain't never seen nobody make it as far as that, were you saying like nobody has that concrete plan? Like if it was, no, I understand, I understand what you were saying, but yeah. just like, so what? What's your approach? Cause I, I always uh, tell the temptation. I'm Dave Ruff. I always tell the temptation about how important promotion is, how important self promotion is. Yeah, that's the biggest thing, man. I mean, marketing yourself. That's 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 what you want. when you're doing music. It ain't about money. But if you want people to hear your music and, and to attract to you, you're trying to get any type of fan base, you have to market yourself. Man. You feel like you have to be your biggest fan. So, you feel like you have to be your biggest fan. Yeah, hell yeah. You got you got to have faith in yourself. Or, you know what I mean? If you want, you expect somebody else to have faith in you. Consistency. Yeah, most definitely. I always tell them motherfuckers, man, you got to look like you winning even when you ain't. Because yeah. when, you, when you know you the best, it don't make a damn difference in the world, don't know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can feel like you the best and shit, but other mother like, who are you? Yeah, and the way, and like, so, what are you doing to promote? Is anybody helping you with it just straight? You pushing your Instagram and things like that? Yeah, it's uh, it's all me, man. I done, I done read a couple books on marketing and things like that. And uh, as far as social media marketing right now, and uh, I just feel like that's where it's at. You know what I mean? And uh, I was just talking to my, my bro about this like a couple weeks ago. Like, uh, I feel like that's that's the ticket. You know what I mean? It's, it's getting your, like you can have fans here, but the larger fan base is out there, man. You know what I mean? Like on the on the internet, whatever, on Instagram, what Facebook, whatever, whichever one clicks with you the most. But whichever one people click with you on, you know what I mean? That's where it's at. But uh um, clicking and keep clicking on this. Yeah, them them uh scan like yeah, man, like them streams and all that shit, man, is where it's at. This is a two parter right here. First, uh what you say, I I I feel that it's still important when at home, as far as to create your buzz here. Right. But being how small the world got, like you was just talking about how it is coming from Indiana, being that the world done got so small with social media, mm -hmm. I think that the demographics of where you firmly not as dominant as it used to be. You know, nah, what I'm saying? it's not because you, like you said, you got social media. So people yeah. are going on social media, pick your whole life apart. You know what I mean? It's different when they don't know you and they and they questioning who you are, and they questioning what you sound like, and they, you know what I mean? They might want to uh, find out. But um, and with that, I, I don't mean leaving Indiana. I'm just saying that <coughs> you can have, you can build a fan base here. Like I got fans here too. You know what I mean? Family, friends, whatever. I got a fan base here. But this fan base ain't gonna get me to the next level. Like people, yeah. will, people will fuck with you just because of the amount of fans you got. You know what I mean? Like if you got, if I got twenty thousand followers on Instagram pushing my music, people gonna be looking at my Instagram. Yeah. If I got a hundred thousand listeners on Spotify, Spotify gonna be looking at my profile. You know what I mean? And it's like. It's undeniable when it gets to that point, you know what I mean? And that's when your city hop on your wave. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's like a, yeah. So they can either hop on the wave now, or they can hop on the wave after it's, you know what I mean? Either way, I'm going to keep it grounded to where I'm from and where I'm at. If I go out here and get a $100 million deal, I'm still from Indiana, you know what I mean? I ain't got to move nowhere else to. I'm just from guys. Yeah, man. <laughs> Most definitely, like I don't feel like I have to. I ain't gonna feel comfortable nowhere else. You know what I mean? So, this is the other thing I would say. Go check out what's the video you got on YouTube? Uh, poor video. That was the first thing. Listen, the project. Poor people. Check poor, that shit out. Poor. You shoot shit. Check it out. This shit shot perfect. That motherfucking video is incredible. And I don't mean no disrespect to Indiana when I say this. But that shit like you got filmed somewhere else. <laughs> it's like it's like some shit that be on TV and whoever recorded that shout out to them. Yeah. That's my homeboy Sambo Bryant, y'all. He nailed that bitch. The whole, yeah, huh? It's called Poor. It's really poor the concept, man. the song, the concept. Like, I like conceptual songs. I, for everybody, I don't know if, how you uh, pronounce and spell your, uh, your name so people like look you up, make this on Google, YouTube, or whatever. Yeah, my what artist name, Pac, P A K. P A K. Yeah, okay. All right, cool. Pac Poor. Check that shit out. Because I like conceptual songs and shit that go with the video. Yeah, I don't yeah, want you to yeah. be talking about, yeah, that's my girl, I really love her. 
and then y'all ride in our car real fast shooting them motherfuckers <laughs> on the video. You know what I'm saying? But this is a good ass video and that like I like artistry. Like some people can rap and some people just make beats, but it's different between being an artist at the right. same time to where you make everything and it's real cinematic. Yeah. The video is real cinematic. So y'all get a chance to check this shit out. It's yeah, super fun. Like, like, I probably sound like two or three months, man, just just compiling thoughts in my head for that video. And what's your favorite song on the EP? Uh, I think my favorite is Preparation, man. Preparation? Yeah. I mean, I like all of them. I like some more than the others, but Preparation is, I feel like it's go time when I hear that. And you know, what? I can play this shit like 10, 15 times back to back, you know what I mean? So what you got coming up next? Uh, right now, I'm just focused on that, on that, on that marketing plan, man. You know what I mean? I ain't really, I mean, I'm, I still do music, so it's like I want to work on another whatever, whatever, but I got to focus on that marketing plan, man, and figure out the niche to, so to get it bound, from man. one level to the next, you yeah. know what I mean, and talk to the right people. I'm, like like me doing this podcast with you right now, you know what I mean, magazines, uh, blogs, all that stuff, is like just getting that exposure that I need, you know what I mean, yeah, get the music yeah. and the name out there. Yeah. And we talk about this uh, off air, but like cross-promoting. Like that's a good thing and shit. To like sometimes you pay people, sometimes you just do it as bar. Yeah, and I mean, like a lot of people will tell you that, and, and most people like like artists got egos and pride, man, and, and that's one of the things that keep us from from getting to where we need to be. But like, you you have to cross promote and and collaborate with different people in order to build your fan base, man. And that's what is the fans is is what's gonna get you there. You ain't gonna get there by yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to like big up the next person and, and the next person big you up the next time you it, that's how it worked man you can't you can't go in here single-handedly trying to take over the world you know what i mean you know it's kind of different in hip-hop because it's always been pretty clickish and pretty competitive though yeah you know i mean it, it it is but but if you even if you go back man that was more solidified than anything back then than what they is right now like right now you got people in in New York, sound like motherfuckers from down south. You got motherfuckers, you know what I mean? It's like right now, it's all a mixture of everything everywhere. You know what I mean? Name, so it's five like five New York rappers who didn't come from the nineties. Like five today, New York rappers. Five New York rappers outside ASAP. ASAP not mob. Take out ASAP. Uh, Joey Badass. Uh, that's probably it. Dave <laughs> <laughs> East. Dave East. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't count Dave East. We don't count her. <laughs> <laughs> But no, nah, I'm just saying, because that's crazy, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. coming up and shit, that's all we heard. <laughs> He's in the she's 60, though. <laughs> <laughs> 60, nah, But yeah, yeah man. Um, I got a couple questions for you. Um, Shoot, man. That's a dope-ass video. Yeah, yeah, it's over so, a ass video. Oh, yeah, now I remember. So that link, I don't know where the link was, but it was a Spotify link. Yeah. And uh, what's that song called? Uh, poor was probably on Spotify, that, that but on I got Spotify? I got uh. So you got do you? What I got my you? last two projects on Spotify. I got uh, five P's on there, and I got the backseat okay, driver. Okay, that's what there. I clicked. So I wanted to listen to them, and they gave me the thirty second because I gotta get Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, now I gotta subscribe to Spotify. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, fuck that. Tell them where to buy it. Yeah, tell where 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 can we uh where can we uh It's everywhere, man. It's on iTunes. Oh, yeah, iTunes. Google Play, yes, everywhere. Oh yeah, okay. We're we definitely going to shoot them links out, man. Most definitely. Anything uh, you want to say, man? Let everybody know where they can follow you at, where they get your music. I mean, you just kind of did, but kind of do it again. Yeah, uh, man, follow man, me on, on Instagram. I'm on Instagram under Pack Say Jack, P A K underscore S A J A K. And then uh, follow me on uh, Spotify. Go to my Spotify account and go to Artist, man, and follow me on there and check the music out. We're going to have to do part two because I got hella fucking. Yeah, I'm ready for a part two. But, uh, yeah, besides that, man, just uh, I try to support everybody I can. And, you know what I mean? I appreciate the support, too, the shares, all, like everything. I, I appreciate all that. It give me chills when I see that shit. So, you know what I mean? If I don't say it enough, I'm saying it now. But um, just, just, you know what I mean? Fuck with me. I ain't, I ain't trying to, I ain't in this to let nobody down. You know what I mean? I got a hell of a vision, so. It's going to go somewhere either way you look at it. You know what I mean? It ain't, I ain't never trying to be in no standstill with this. You know what I mean? It's going to go somewhere because I got too much of a vision and too much, you know what I mean, inspiration to let it stay where it's at. So it is what it is. Appreciate everybody, man. Appreciate you letting me get on this podcast too. So you know what I mean? No, oh, man, it ain't nothing. Yeah. Anytime you want to come in, you always got that platform whatever. But everything you just said, man, I'm totally identified with it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's a grind. 
Yeah, most but definitely. but and, and it's a struggle sometimes, but it's a beautiful struggle. Yeah, because you doing what you want to do and shit. So when things ain't going uh, the way you want it to, or everything ain't in mm-hmm. compliance, you still can fall back on your own self and yeah, your vision. Most definitely. And so that that's what's up, man. Um, and I tell people, man, like I hate to have to keep saying this is. You know what I'm saying? Before I even say it, but I do not say this because this is my friend. This is my brother. I say this because this shit's dope. <laughs> Real shit. I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> check this shit out. Five P's, like you said, go on Spotify. Look for Pat Sajak. Now I've had a white boyfriend. Uh, uh, Google Play, uh, iTunes. Yeah, it's everywhere. It's uh, everywhere. Heart, check that Pandora, shit out. Or just, just pull it up in the search bar, man. You and go on, go on YouTube. Check out the video of Poor. It's not P-O-U-R, like you're getting something, but you are getting something. Right. <laughs> it's poor, it's like, it's a dope video. We, you got to wait three to weeks to get your first it. check. So check that out, poor, pack, P-A-K, and you're going to love that video, man. Shout out to the uh, to the guy who did the video. Mm-hmm. Say his name again. Yo, Sambo Brian on Facebook. Sambo Sambo search him up. New Check Wave is video. the way. Yeah. Yes, sir. We about, we about to wrap this up with a side coming on. Have a seat, please. Uh, shout out to my up. people. Shout out to real oh, talk. Yeah. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. Octane. Yeah, most definitely. Shout out to Big Bro, Illy Octane, everybody over at Rich Harvest, everybody over at Anderson, you know what I mean? Everybody in I saw Biz Kate on there, man. Shout out to Biz. Yo, yo, shout out to my own boy Biz. Shout out to everybody back at the crib in Marion. And uh y'all chill out out here, man. It's been like shit, close to ten deaths in, in one week, man. So you know what I mean? Hopefully everybody chill out, calm down, smoke some weed or something. They not listening. You know, yeah, I know they ain't listening. <laughs> <laughs> just shooting. Just shooting hours. Yeah, but RIP to everybody that did lose their life mm-hmm. recently, man. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, uh, it is. Yeah. Said some music. The oh, music's no, going to be with No, with, it's with not the, 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 the youngest. <laughs> the younger kids is listening to now, though. You know who they want to, who they think they want to be type yeah. of shit. You know what I'm going to tell you some shit, man. These motherfuckers ain't doing no more killing than they was when we was young. It's just more oh, public. Yeah, you're right. It's you're more right. public, so. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? That I shit, think the music was way harder, harder too. Uh-huh. This shit deeper than music. This is a like lifestyle. It's a broken culture. Yeah, it's brutality. Shit, that shit. I've seen that shit. And plus, I'm going to tell you, it's it's always blown up, I think, more than what it actually is. It is. Yeah. They they talk about fifty motherfuckers got shot in Chicago. They never show fifty nine. That's just way to us look more animalistic and shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody, ain't no fifty motherfuckers get shot in the weekend in Chicago. I don't believe that bullshit. One day, <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta show me fifty niggas say ouch. I have to hear fifty ouches and shit. I don't believe that bullshit. <laughs> All that shit is basically like savages. Like this is when they talk about black on black crime. You know what I'm saying? Ants kill ants. White on white crime is higher statistically than black on black crime, but they say yeah. that shit and we buy into it. But not to take away from the message, uh, stop killing. It's ignorant as fuck. Um, little two, like little nineteen year old nigga Anderson got shot in the head this they, past week. They talked to the dudes. And I'm saying Anderson, it, Anderson too small for killing people. You go, you everybody know each other and shit. Somebody right. can diffuse a disagreement, yeah. but yeah. it's sad, man. The state of being that we in, man. Um, the dudes that shot him was younger than him. That's great. Yeah. But we, we got to, uh, and it's our job, like, right? us being older, you know what I'm saying? We got a school teacher here. We need to be more responsible. You know what I'm saying? Put niggas in detention the first time they pull out that pistol. <laughs> but look, we going to make it happen, though. Uh, anything you want to say in closing, uh, Superstar? Uh, 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 make sure y'all follow, 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 uh, stream. Another Superstar. Music, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, especially if you're in the Indiana area, man. That's the only way. We gonna get up out of here. We got three platforms on this stage right now that y'all gonna be supporting. You know, put on y'all put on help us get on. You know, we gonna put on for y'all and everybody. On, you know, so, yeah. that's it. What's that inside? Uh, man, I don't even know. I'm fucking cheat, Charlie Tyrone. <laughs> 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 hey, we're being disrupted today. That's <laughs> bad asses. <laughs> get to the front of the bus on the way back to Kings Island, niggas. <laughs> Hey, babe, babe, I was in Gorgeous. Gorgeous. last night. Gorgeous. Hey, babe, babe, when Charlotte, Gorgeous. I was going smoking people's face, babe, babe, babe. You should have seen me, babe. I was like, Snoop, you know, Snoop Dogg. You know, Snoop Doggy Dogg. It was Doggy Style, babe, babe, babe. What's happening, though, uh, Arthur? That's what it is. That's what it is. We can do all that, though.
he got that fish. He gonna hit. Hey, yeah, he, he, he rolled. He uh, uh, shit, <laughs> like superstar said, <laughs> tell a friend, <laughs> tell a friend. Um, edited two videos right now. I know I've been slacking and ain't been shit out there to buy, but. It's all. that bullshit. Niggas, shit after the They might make no more shirts. They make shirts no more. But go ahead, dog. Before we really interrupted you. Ah, it's cool. It's great. It's great. But yeah. See, that nigga mellow as fuck. Bang, bang. I was with Snoop too. Bang, bang. You ever seen Ha Ha? We was in Candy. But that's it. Okay, I'm about to round this shit off. First off, these things being very rude and very disruptive. Um, they had the marijuana train going on. Um, the marijuana train. <laughs> <laughs> they all have individually been eating ass and sharing blunts. Uh, <laughs> um, shout out to the superstar, shout out to the side, shout out to Corey, shout out to his glasses, shout out to Pac Man, shout out to everybody who fucking with us. His daughter picked out them glasses. This is medicine. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my glasses off doing the show, man. Because you know what? That's when I step in the phone booth and become Superman. <laughs> but look, though. Uh, thanks for everybody tuning in. Uh, like I said, if you have this link, make sure you share. Thanks uh, for Pat for coming in and kicking with us. Um, very insightful. You know what I'm saying? It's just seeing somebody out here who not afraid to um, take that leap of faith. <laughs> It, it, it's always inspiring to see somebody bet on themselves. It's, it's some people who just want to latch on to people and just ride the wave. But sometimes, man.